With just 32 days to the repeat presidential poll, IBC appears to be a housing crisis. The electoral body has failed to give an update of its preparedness, including the status of Kenya integrated election management system amid sustained attacks from the political players in the wake of the Supreme Court ruling that returned a damning indictment over its management of the August 8th general elections. And amid the uncertainty, IBC Director for Legal and Corporate Affairs, Paradexis Torre, has since voluntarily offered to take an early retirement. Torre, who is among IBC officials that the opposition NASA has been pushing that they be shown the door before a fresh presidential poll is held, will be the third person in IBC that will not oversee the repeat polls after IBC Chair Wafula Chebukati suspended James Muhati alongside ICT coordinator Paul Mogo and Officer Bonfas Wame for allegedly compromising the outcome of the August 8th general election. NASA's wish list, now known as the irredeemable minimum, also includes a demand for the sacking of IBC Chief Executive Officer Ezra Chilomba. This even as a petition sought the intervention of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Directorate of Criminal Investigations and the Director of Public Prosecutions to have Supreme Court's Register Esther Nyayaki prosecuted over alleged acts and omissions that resulted in the nullification of the presidential election. Rashid Mohammed alleges that the Supreme Court and indeed the four judges in arriving at the majority decision relied heavily on her report on the authenticity of Forms 34As and Forms 34Bs. Linus Moshigadi for Channel 1 News.